And we worship you, O God. Thank you so much, O Lord, sa amin pong mga buhay na inyo pong ibinigay, Panginoon, upang sa ganon na makarapin po kami, uh, O God, sa fellowship na ito. In order, O Lord, to hear your words tonight. Thank you so much, Lord, for this opportunity that we're gonna hear your words from you, O Lord. Dalangin ko, Lord, na kayo po yung uh, mag-speak to the heart of everyone, O God, at ganon din po sa akin. On, mag speak po kayo, Panginoon. Even me, that you will gonna use tonight, Panginoon. Tinudulog ko po ang aking buhay. Na kayo po, Panginoon, ang mag-lead po sa akin through your Holy Spirit, O God. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Let us open our Bible, mga kapatid. <laughs> sa, nandito na tayo sa ikatlong libro ni Juan. Yeah, hey. Katapos na natin yung sulat ni Juan. Ang sabi dito, mula sa matandang pinuno ng iglesia, para kay Gayo na lumus kong minamahal, ma mahal kong kaibigan, ibinadalangin kung ikaw sanay na sa mabuting kalagayan at malusog ang katawan tulad ng iyong buhay spiritual. Tuwang-tuwa ako nang dumating ang ilang kapatid at ibalitang ikaw ay tapat sa katotohanan at talagang Namumuhay ayon dito, wala nang higit na makakapagpaligaya sa akin, kundi ang marinig, ang balitang namumuhay ayon sa katotohanan ang aking mga anak. Verse 5, Mahal kong kaibigan, tapat ang iyong paglilipod sa mga kapatid, kahit sa mga hindi mo kilala. May mga nagbalita sa iglesia rito tungkol sa iyong pag-ibig. Sana itulungan mo sila sa kanilang paglalakbay, Gaya ng nararapat gawin sa mga lingkod ng Diyos sapagkat naglalakbay sila sa pangalan ni Kristo at hindi tumatanggap ng anumang tulong mula sa mga hindi sumasampalataya sa Diyos. Tapat na, dapat natin silang tulungan upang tayo'y makabahagi sa kanilang gawain para sa katotokanan. Verse 9, Sumulat ako sa iglesia, subalit hindi kami kinilala ni Diotrofret. Diotrefes, ang hangad niya ay siya, ang kilalaning pinuno. Kaya't pagpunta ko diyan, uungkatin ko ang lahat ng ginawa niya at ang mga kasinimulingang sinabi niya laban sa amin. At hindi pa siya nasiyahan doon. Ayaw niyang tanggapin ang mga kapatid na dumarating at hinahadlangan pa niya. At pinapalayas sa iglesia ang mga nais tumanggap sa mga iyon. Minamahal, huwag mong tularan ang masama. Sa halip, tularan mo ang mabuti sapagkat ang gumagawa ng mabuti ay sa Diyos. Ang gumagawa ng masama ay hindi pa nakikita, naka, nakakita sa Diyos. Mabuti ang sinasabi ng lahat tungkol kay Demetrio. At iyon din ang patotoo ng katotohanan tungkol sa kanya. Iyan din ang kanyang patotoo at alam mong totoo ang sinasabi namin. Verse 13, Marami pa sana akong sasabihin sa iyo, ngunit ayaw ko nang gumamit ng panulat na tinta at tinta. Inaasahan kong magkikita tayo at makakapag-usap sa lalong madaling panahon. So mailunawang kapayapaan, pinukumusta ka ng ating mga kaibigan dito. Isa-isa mong batiin ang lahat ng ating mga kaibigan diyan. Praise God! sa kanyang mga salita. So, nandito tayo sa ikatlong libro ni Juan. Sino yung sinandan ni Chan sa, sa ikalawang libro? Naalala nyo? Si Mrs. Hindi si Pastora kasi si Pastora ang nag-serve nung last day. Last, last Saturday. Ay, walang nakakaalala. Yung hinirang na ginang. Hindi, pina, hindi kasi pinang, pin, pinangalanan ni Chan yung ginang na iyon. Pero sa ikatlong libro, ay sinulat ni Juan, send the church. Is, makikita natin doon, una si Gaios, si, uh, si Gayo, pangalawa, pangalawa si Diotrefes, pangatlo, pangatlo, ay, ay na ako, pangatlo, si Dimetrio. Tatlong tao sa iglesia. Makikita natin kasi dito on how, uh, a member, or masasabi natin, they are the worker of the church. Tatlong tao yung napangalanan, napangalanan ni John sa, sa librong kanyang sinulat. 
At yung una, mga kapatid, sasabihin ko dito, as we heard the word of God that I read, that they have the characteristic, they have their personality, na iniisa-isa ni John. Sinabi niya isa-isa dito yung mga personalidad and their character in the church. And I don't want, mga kapatid, na isipin mo o tignan natin yung katabi natin kasi si Gayo, he's a good man. He helped the work of God. Si Diotrephes is a villain or we call it, so siya yung kontrabida. Narinig niyo ba yung binasa ko mga kapatid? Opo. So makikita natin yun na yung Diotrephes na ito, he's the villain. He's the kontrabida in the story. In the letter. I don't want you to to, to, to think who is the the other friends inside the church or bibilangin mo yung sa kamay mo kung sino yung the other friends na kilala mo sa loob ng church or in the other church. But I want us to see tonight that is there any spirit of the other friends inside us? Is there any that spirit na nandito sa atin, mga kapatid? I want us to realize sa mga characteristic ni Giotto Press kung nandito ba yun o wala. If it's not glory to God. Sabi dito, mula sa matandang pinunang iglesia, para kay Gayo. Si Juan sinulat niya yung, yung uh, letter na ito to Gayo. Sinend niya. Sabi niya dito, itinadalangin niya na si, na si Gayo ay nawa ay nasa mabuting kalagay. Ay, no, you know, mga kapatid, this is a very, very special na gustong-gusto ko lang. Sabi kasi ni, sabi kasi ni Jan, sabi niya, mahal kong kaibigan, idinadalangin kong ikaw sana ay nasa mabuting kalagayan at malusog ang katawan. Tulad ng iyong buhay spiritual. Tulad ng iyong buhay spiritual. Maybe Gayo is not feeling well. It's not feeling well because uh, hindi natin alam. Kasi si Gayo, just to, siya yung kaibigan niya. Just to remind mga kapatid, hindi, hindi ko alam kung si Gayo ba ito in the, in the other book of the, of the New Testament. But he, he's a part of the church. Gayo is part of the church. He's a member of the church. He's a worker in the church. Sa iglesia ang sinulatan ni Juan. Kasi sinulatan niya si Gayo. And also the member and the leader of the church. Tuwang-tuwa, sabi niya, na, 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 nare-realize ko lang na kung tayo ba ay matutulad kung yung bang physical nating uh, pangatawan ay magiging tulad ng ating spiritual, paano kaya yun? Na ngayon, ang, ang, na, na, ano, may corona ka. May corona din yung, ano mo, yung spiritual life mo. But it's not eh. Paano kung spiritual mo ngayon? Makikita natin through your physical. Di ba? Pag hindi ka mag hindi ka naglalamig ka your spiritual today, you're gonna see by your physical. But it's not. Kaya sabi ni Juan, ay, yes, ni John, the beloved, na sa nawa ang iyong physical ay maging tulad ng buhay spiritual. You can see this na talagang si Gayo ay uh, maunlag ang kanyang malusog ang kanyang buhay spiritual. Tuwang-tuwa ako nang tumating ang ilang kapatid nang ibalitang ikaw ay tapat sa katotohanan at talagang namumuhay ayon dito. This, this is really the really important thing, mga kapatid. As a worker of God, as a believer of Christ, na may babalita sa ibang tao that you really walk on through what God says. Na talagang naglalakad tayo, tinutupad natin, nag-o-obey tayo. That the, 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 the member of WWCF Haifa will gain ang uh, papapalita ng ibang mga halimbawa, alis ako, alis ako, pupunta ako sa ibang lugar, that I will testify your goodness to them. Ng mga kapatid na, do, na nandoon, they are really working and they are really obeying the Lord. 
and it will gonna encourage other people by your obedience to God. And it will make your spiritual life growing. Ayun, nag-grow ka. Huwag niyong tignan yung height ko mga kapatid kasi I don't have the chance. <laughs> Magkakaroon lang ako ng chance if I wear heels. But glory to God sa mga physical na kanyang ibinibigay. It's glory. It's all glory to God. Sa lahat-lahat na ibinibigay niya sa atin. Wala nang higit pang makakapagpaligaya. It's true. Wala nang higit pang makakapagpaligaya sa isang leader that his leadership, makikita niya that they are growing. That they are really growing in Christ. That they are really growing. Talagang lumalago tayo sa ating spiritual life. But it will be sudden to a leader that his uh, uh, kanyang nililig, wala man lang lumalago kahit isa. Because they will be laid accountable to God. What did you do? Sabi ng leader, I do everything. It's just that they are very hard. It's just that they don't want to grow. They just want to stay there. They just want to stay, sit, and do nothing inside the church. Mga kapatid, tayo pong lahat, we are congregation, we have a pastor, we have a co-pastor, we have, we have a worker in the church. May kanya-kanya may kanya -kanya tayong mga trabaho. The pastor in charge, the whole church, the co-pastor will be in charge also. May naka-incharge sa music. There is a leader in the worship team. There is also a leader in cleaning. Meron ba? There is also a leader in food. That's Sister Tess, I think. May kanya-kanya tayong trabaho. May leader na nag kahit ano lang, may na leader na nagkukulekta ng mga offering. But sometimes, the leader is doing everything. Kasi, yung nililig niya, they don't grow. Pero ang ganda lang ng pagkakasabi ni John, it gives, he, it, it gives John happiness that he saw Gaius growing and obeying God's word. That's the really important thing, mga kapatid. That when we say, I decided to follow Jesus, be on that. Just really decided. Just really decide if you follow the Lord or not. Kasi yes, sabi nga ng revelation, ayaw ng Lord yung you are, you are uh, kaka kaka. If you are one, you are one. You are, you are called, you are called. Ayaw ng Lord eh. Yung dito ako, then dito ako, then dito na naman ako, dito na naman ako. If we really decided to follow the Lord, mga kapatid, Decide. Walk. Believe in God. Have faith. Trust Him. Kasi nagka-trust si Gayo. You know what? The Gayo is tumutulong talaga siya. This is the characteristic of, the, of Gayo eh. Mahal kong kaibigan. Tapat ang iyong paglilingkod. He's very faithful in the Lord. Sa mga kapatid, kahit sa mga hindi mo kilala. Even to the strangers. He's so faithful because he's doing it for the Lord. Because he decided, God decided already to follow Christ. At nakita ko pa din ito mga kapatid, that God is, he has the gift of husp hospitable. You know? Oh, my, my character, my, yun ang gift ni Gaios. He's very hospitable, even the strangers. May mga nagbabalita sa iglesia rito tungkol sa ilong pag-ibig. Sana'y tulungan mo sila sa kanilang paglalakbay, gaya ng nararapat gawin sa mga naglilingkod sa Diyos. Sapagkat naglalakbay sila sa pangalan ni Kristo at hindi tumatanggap ng anumang tulong mula sa mga hindi sumasampalataya sa Diyos. Si Gayo talagang he gave on. 
Matulungin si Gaius. Maybe Gaius is there always na tumutulong sa mga mga lingkod ng Panginoon. You know God, ay you know mga kapatid, He has the heart of, ano eh, He is the heart of a giver. You know what? Yung pagiging giver mga kapatid, it's not only for money. It's not only that. If you only one penny and you give it, it's the heart. If we have the heart of a giver, you have, you always, makikita mo ang way ng pagbibigay if you have this. You will never say no. Because you trust the Lord. Because we trust the Lord. And sometimes we didn't see the goodness of God. Hindi natin nakikita kung gaano kabuti ang Lord sa ating mga buhay. That's why we sometimes choose not to obey the Lord. We sometimes stay, just stay. And who, who, who were you? And we don't grow. Maging tulad tayo ni Gayo. Gayo is help, helping the work of God. Dapat natin silang tulungan upang tayo makabahagi sa kanilang gawain para sa katotohanan. Nag-aaral tayo tungkol sa evangelism. That's why, sabi ko nga, if we have not really decided to God, we cannot go out it to evangelize. As we started evangelism, it's really, it's really good. Right? Na, napaka, napakaganda ni share ang salita ng Panginoon. But if we are not following really clear Christ, if we don't have the relationship, the intact relationship, the relationship to the Lord, we cannot go out. We just stay here, sitting, and do nothing. But if, mga kapatid, if we have really that relationship to the Lord, you can stand there and you can go out that door and share the word of God. You can do it. We can do it because we have the Lord. We have the God who created the heaven and earth. Why are we really afraid? Bakit tayo nakatakot? Be like Gaius in many ways. May kanya-kanya tayong binigay ang Lord na kalakasan. We have also witnesses. It's true. But God is there. The Holy Spirit is there. God give us the Holy Spirit, mga kapatid. Trust Him. Trust the Lord. Sumulat ako sa iglesia. Ito yung civilian na. Sumulat ako sa iglesia, subalit hindi kami kinilala ni Jyotri Press. Jyotri Press. Jyotri Press. Na ano ako sa R? Jyotri Press. Jyotri Press. Jyotri Press. Ang hangad niya, siya ang kilalaning pinuno. Ito pala yung may ganitong attitude. May ganitong personality inside the church. Kahit pagpunta ko diyan, uuong ka din ko. John wants to to show to the to the church who is Diotre Press he really is. Because Diotre Press what? Gonna kick out everything. Kung ayaw, ayaw niya, ayaw ka niya, she gonna kick you out inside the church. Like I said in the beginning, huwag kang tumingin sa kapitbahay mo. See inside. Gam Ani, is there any Diotre Press, Diotre Press spirit in my life? Is there is? Kasi ang hangad ng taong ito, siya yung kilalanin, siya yung uh, makita sa lahat ng bagay. And alam, na, makikita natin. And I want to give an example like, uh, and I'm, I'm not really afraid, yung tagadabaw. Anong pangalan niya? Hmm. Si Kibuloy. 
Now, fall down niya yung remote. Who believe in it? Who are gonna believe in it? It's not the Christ. Sino ang maniniwala sa kanya? Dahil may nakanaupuan ko yung remote at nanginig ang mundo. It's really, it's really, uh, alam niya mga kapatid, if we really know the Bible, that's why it's really important to know your Bible. And I encourage you to open the real Bible. Alam niyo, it's good to have in your it, it in your phone. But there is temptation in there. Eh. Your Facebook is in there. Your Instagram is in there. Your Twitter is in there. You're gonna be tempted. But if you have the book, nakakonsentrate ka lang eh. Walang magpa-flashback dito na na naghiwalay na yung mga ano, nagkakabitan. Walang magpa-flashback dito na na maitinulfo na naman. Wala ka pa, it will, there's no notification that will appear in this real Bible. Meron ba? Meron siguro mga ano, nakaipit tulad dito. And if you put it like that, you will not see it anymore. Hindi kaya nung, sige, tik, 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 ganun yung cellphone mo eh. If we, alam nyo kapatid, na, na-realize ko lang din talaga yung bagay na yan. If, you, if we are on our phone, if we use the phone as our Bible, mag, mag, matitemp ka eh. Ayaw sabi ng Lord, with regarding temptation, kung ikaw yung pakakatempan ng ano, tulin mo yung kamay mo, tanggalin mo yung mata mo, Oh, hindi close mo yung cellphone mo kung doon ka natitem. Right? Tama ba? <laughs> I-close natin yung ating cellphone and then try to, uh, try to have a uh, time with God. A solemn time with God. Yung quiet time with the Lord by His Word through prayer. And you will see the difference. You're gonna see the difference, mga kapatid. I know that you experience it. Kung hindi niyo pa na-experience yung bagay na yun, try to experience it. Pero kung matagal lang hindi niyo na-experience, just question yourself. O yung uong katin, mapakita talaga ni Chan kung sino niyo si Dio Trefes. Ayan. Salamat sa pag, <laughs> pagtulong, mga kapatid. Kasi ganun yung character eh. Sometimes, inside the church, it's not the doctrine ang problema eh. It's the personality. Kasi itong si Idiot Press, gusto niya siya lang eh. I will be the king of this church. Kung sino ang tatanggap sa mga isinesend ni John, I will kick them out. Pero hindi niya tatanggapin kasi maaano yung kanyang leadership. Ano ba yan? Mahaglangan yung kanyang leadership. So hindi niya tatanggapin yung mga taong ito. Sabi pa niya, kaya pupunta ako dyan, uungkatin ko ang lahat ng ginawa niya at mga kasinungalingan sinabi niya laban sa amin. See? What the character of this villain? Nagsisinungaling siya. Anong gagawin ng Lord sa mga sinungaling mga kapatid? Naninira siya. Sinisiraan niya ang lingkod ng Panginoon na si John. Si John is the only di di disciple that is living this time. The only person na disciple ng Lord na naka-witness ng, sa, sa Lord ng kanyang miracles and wonders that He made on this earth. At sinisiraan niya kasi masisira ang kanyang leadership. Baka kasi kunin yung remote ni Kibuloy. At wala nang maging remote. Naging issue pa yung remote dahil naupuan. It's really Napakasinungaling. Napakasinungaling lang talaga ng mga preacher na ito. That they don't really base the word of God. 
Hindi talaga sila nagbe-base. They are just want themselves to be rich. Alam mo yan? Gustong-gusto lang talaga nila on the spot. They want to be in the spotlight. And then they're gonna uh, uh, mara-recognize sila, ipipraise sila, because this is the Otrephes, the Vulian. So I, we just make it clear, mga kapatid, that we really decided na i-follow ang Lord. And who is Lord? You, who is our Lord? Our Lord Jesus Christ. Kung may mga spirit tayong ganito, it's, you can, we cannot enter the kingdom of God. We cannot enter there, mga kapatid. At hindi pa siya nasiyahan doon, eh. hindi pa daw siya nasiyahan. Ayaw niyang tanggapin ang mga kapatid na dumarating at hinahadlangan pa niya at pinalalayas, ito yung sinasabi ko kanina, pinapalayas sa iglesia ang mga nais tumanggap sa mga iyon. Pinapalayas niya. Ayaw niya. Umalis ka dito. Kasi hadlang siya eh sa kanyang mga plano. Hadlang yung mga sinasad ni, ni John sa kanya. Anong sabi niya? Huwag mong tularan. Huwag nating tularan. Because this Diotrephes is not really a Christian. But she, he is inside the church. So remember that. He is the member of the church and he is also the leader. Sometimes they are the leaders. And kaya nga mga kapatid, the church is always encouraging us to read your Bible, to know the word of God, to know your God. At kahit na marami pa ang dumating at magsasabi na kanilang mga sasabihin, we have this eh. Nandito yung ano, nandito yung ebidensya mo kung totoo ba yung tao yan o hindi. But we are not there. We are not in Bible study. Kaya ang sabi ko, if you are studying your own, kung sabi natin nag study tayo sa sarili natin, supposed to be you are there in the Bible study. Kasi mababasa mo yun eh. Binigyan tayo ni Paul kung paano, kung paano natin i-discipline ang church. We have that. You know that or not? Di nyo ba alam mga kapatid na may sinulat si Paul by the help of the Lord, by the grace of God on how to discipline the church or a member of the church. Yung mga immoral. Kung paano disiplinahin Sabi pa, one of the the, uh, the scripture says, meron pa yung pagkakasabi talaga ni Paul po na ipaubaya mo na kay Satanas. Yung kaganyan. And I'm so very grateful for Sister Abba. She was standing here. Are you not very glad that someone is turning back to God? She don't let her guard down. Ano, maghahambol ka talaga, na ipapakita mo talaga that you're gonna change. Nadapa ka, nagkamali ka, nagkasala ka, but you admitted it and you want to rise again and to serve the Lord. It was so great and I'm so happy. Ano, may na, na, nakaka, nakakas, ang sarap-sarap lang makita yung mga kapatid na ganito. Masarap lang talagang tignan that they are trying, striving. Maraming nag strive na mga kapatid just to follow the Lord. At marami din hindi lumalago. And they are claiming that they are following Christ. Next week, we're gonna know and we're gonna go deeper into evangelism. But try to figure it out to ourselves if we have the spirit of Diotrephes. Diotrephes. Because if there is, we cannot go out. 
Papasok tayo sa evangelism, mga kapatid. So we must ready. We must be ready. Our soul, our spirit, our hearts, our mind should be ready. And this is study. And you, we will gonna see the important of this. Let's try to imitate God. Let's try to imitate the pattern of Jesus Christ shows to us, showed us. Kasi sabi ni po, ay sabi ni John, minamahal huwag mong tularan ang masama. Sa halip tularan mo ang mabuti, sapagkat ang gumagawa ng mabuti ay sa Diyos, ang gumagawa ng masama ay hindi pa nakakita sa Diyos. Huwag natin tularan ang mga masama mga kapatid. Huwag natin tularan yung mga tao na magaling magsalita. Huwag natin, huwag natin, huwag tayong mag-base ng ating, uh, that we imitate person that they're, uh, magaling silang magsalita, magaling silang uh, kumanta, magaling silang mag-lead, mag magaling silang, uh, alam mo, to encourage, but imitate a person that has really a good spiritual life. And we will gonna grow. Kasi sabi din yan ni Paul, imitate me like I, imi like I, I imitate Jesus Christ. And then, John told to, to, to Gales, minamahal ko, huwag mong tularan ang masama. And this is really a pattern ni Gales na kailangan natin tularan. Kasi he is helping the work of God. Are we part of the problem or are we part of the solution? Gaius and Dimitri is a part of the solution inside the church while Diotrephes is a part of a problem, a troublemaker. Where are we? Saan tayo doon? Mabuti ang sinasabi ng lahat tungkol kay Dimitri at iyan din ang patotoo ng katotohanan tungkol sa kanya. Alam mo yan, talagang binabalita ang kabutihan ng mga kapatid na ito. Because they show, nakita ng patotoo ng mga kapatid kung gaano naglilingkod, kung gaano nila inuubay ang Panginoon. At marami pa sanang gustong sabihin si John. Pero hindi na niya kahit, hindi niya, ayaw niya nang isulat. But he wants to be there personally to them. And try to figure out ourselves, kung tayo ba, are we the solution or are we the problem of the church? Sabi ko nga kanina, if we have the spirit of Diotrephes, preach the Lord, talk to him. Kailangan tayo ng church. The church need us. And we are the church. As we go to evangelize, as we go deeper in this um, work of the Lord, try to reach yung gusto ng Lord sa buhay po natin. Heavenly Father, once again, Thank you so much, O God, for this short letter that you give to us. Panginoon, salamat dahil pinakilala mo ang mga taong ito, Panginoon, na dapat namin tularan at hindi namin dapat tularan. That who am I? Who are we, Panginoon, sa inyong harapan? Kami ba, Panginoon, ay karapat dapat natularan ng mga tao or are we not, not that worthy, Panginoon, because we are not really walking into your path. But tonight, oh God, ano man ang nakikita mo sa aming mga puso, Panginoon, we ask you to change us. We ask you, Father, to really walk 
Panginoon, yung buhay po namin. Tulungan mo kami that we will God and imitate the Lord Jesus Christ. Upang sa ganon, Panginoon, may kabuluhan ang pagkamatayin niya sa cross. May kabuluhan ang aming salvation through Him. May kabuluhan ang kanyang dugo na dumaloy sa cross. Oh God, there's nothing we can't do, Panginoon, but we trusted you. In this church, in this fellowship, you know the heart of everyone. If we are truly walking to you or not. Panginoon, sa mga kapatid na tunay, na lumalakad, that they are really striving, Lord, to walk with you. Give them strength. Give them strength, O oh Lord, to follow you. There's a lot of circumstances in their ways. But God, we will trust you. And you will just God obey you, Panginoon. If there's God or someone here that they really not know on the way to salvation, save them, O God. Talk to them, O Lord. You are the only health authority to touch the heart of this brother, of this sister, to be safe. Even if there's brother and sister here, Panginoon, na nanghihina, ang kanyang paglakad is spiritual. Lord, help this brother and sister to conquer this kind of problems that he or she is going through. Palakasin mo ang bawat isa, Panginoon, as we gonna enter, Lord, to evangelism, as we gonna go deeper in knowing you and sharing your word, talk to us, Lord, and show us the real you sa aming pong mga buhay. And show us the real way on how, Panginoon, to improve our spiritual life and in how to grow, Panginoon, sa aming pananampalataya. Yours is the glory in your words, so God, thank you. Thank you lang talaga sa mga sulat na ito ni John sa kanyang kaibigan. That we're gonna imitate, Panginoon, ang buhay ni Gayo at ni Demetrio. And also to imitate our Lord Jesus Christ. And we will walk 